Managed to do the nightbound message. Nice. Man, I wanna go in the middle, Valeo. I wanna go in the mid because it's only a short window. Is there such a thing as CC matchmaking and CC RNG and CC teams and everything, yeah? Depending on who you ask, it's the absolute truth. So gonna get shit on doing this. <laughs> shit. What? Fuck nobody shot me. Damn, that was so lucky. Was I too fast for their TDs? It's possible. It's possible. 1085 is super slow, Conway not the fastest either. Hey, it makes us kind of fast ish. Some event is slow. And it was good. Mm -hmm. Well, it depends. What kind of answer do you want? A serious answer or not a serious, serious answer? What answer are you looking for? Go a bit more on the right so I can see the C50. Because he's hiding behind the tree, but. The fuck, mod one? Hello? Serious, serious? Okay. There is no such thing as streamer matchmaking or all the other bullshit you keep hearing. And just people being extremely, extremely pepega. And the same people who will tell you that. Shit about like 5G antennas and. Bullshit like that. Yeah. The tin foilers. People come up with like all kinds of shit to like make them their lack of skill. Uh, to make up for their lack of skill, you know, to like somehow explain their lack of skill. <laughs> Some of them come up with this like streamer bullshit. <laughs> it's really sad, but I guess some people actually feel better by believing this kind of things. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I got nothing to shoot at here, and for some reason, all our campers on the hill went away. So we don't have tanks on that side either. That's not good. Hey, by all means, if it helps them, like, cope with their, you know... If it makes them feel better for not being good at the game, by all means, believe whatever you want. <laughs> I don't have a problem with it. I 
Now that you should feel bad for like being bad at the game, that's like where the problem starts, first of all. They feel very triggered that they're bad at the game. I'm bad at like everything in life and I don't give a shit. <laughs> he does see me complaining about it. I know I'm bad. <clears throat> big streamer corporation, I keep the little man down. But you also stream MDC, so. You might want to keep it on down low. You didn't really thought it through, did you? You also stream. I'm actually trying to snap with this gun. Damn. I'm feeling lucky. Let's go in the city and kill that guy. He done with the city. Gotta kill it in five. Mm -hmm. Unreliable tank, lol. Find balls and decency. Call the tank for what it is and it's shit. Fuck you, dude. You're attacking shit. You don't know me. I'm balls and decency. I want to peek and shoot him in the side, but they might have a TD in the back. So. Oh, they do, but he's not where I thought he would be. He's not what I thought he's gonna be. Hmm. Yalo! PD player specialty. When TD players panic, they YOLO. And it's beautiful. Take <laughs> brick. How did we lose the middle? The Cobrita was there. Sorry I'm being kind of rude lately, but I really can't deal with these Pepegas anymore that come to the chat with shit like that. I can't and I won't deal with it anymore. You know? I just can't anymore. We just need to like go in and take the middle, because like all their tanks are there. Oh, can just do it. There's a lot of people who camp with the Italian TDs, unfortunately. Spot it. Oh, 
possible the EBR run away. And I got spotted, so it's possible somebody's just there in their base. Apologizing for standing up, you'd be right. Hey, you know, I don't like to be so rude to curse people. <laughs> but I guess some people earn it. I got it. Hardly, man. I need help. Uh, you know what? We shouldn't be like chasing these guys in the field. Shouldn't be chasing them on the field. I'd rather just go in the cap or something, let them come close. I think I'll just do that. I'm gonna sit in the bush and I'm gonna have to get really close to spot me. And I'll pop him. That's what I was saying. Gonna have to come really close to like spot us. I gotta go for it. We're not gonna get it. But at least I know where the ELC is. gonna try to run there. Cut him off. And I'll go and cap again. There's no time. here next we're gonna go on the hill i would expect <laughs> probably yeah i'm expecting him on the hill but we'll see he's also gonna have to come really close to spot me <laughs> Closer than the ELC. <laughs> Thank God this tank has good camo, you know? That's one of the few things that is gonna go on for it. The tank has good camo. Because if I wasn't a heavy tank, I wouldn't be able to do this. They would have spotted me from miles away. I'm very surprised I didn't try to blind shoot. If I was them, I would just like be blind shooting. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I would just be blind shooting. So yeah, one of the few thing, one of the few good things about the the object five ninety, the camo is nice. The camo is good. Thirty five stationary, twenty seven moving. So 
Yeah, you got light tank. Levels of camouflage, I guess. The camo is really good. So, for the people, I guess this game is good enough. I'm not gonna keep trying because I'm kind of bored of this tank. For the people trying to purchase the Object 590, right? You need to know that, first of all, the gun handling is awful on this tank. It's really bad, right? The gun is very unreliable. It has very bad aim time and very bad uh, dispersion on the move. You can see here that I'm using three pieces of gun handling equipment and a directive just to bring it to manageable levels. And I still miss a lot of it, right? So the gun is horrible. Secondly, the penetration is crap has 238 APCR, which is crap for tier 9. You're mostly going to be able to pin T-rates on Laurel with that. And the gold ammo pen, better penetration, 268, but it's super slow. It's basically half the speed of the APCR. So it sucks if you shoot full standard. It sucks if you shoot full gold ammo, you know? There's just no, no good compromise with this tank. Yeah. <clears throat> So the gun is crap, the ammo is crap. Uh, the tank does get the occasional fires. Also, one of the crappiest things about the tank is the crew layout. It only gets three crew members. And the commander and the gunner get safe stowage and intuition. So you might have issues with some ammo racks with this tank. I would say just forget about the intuition because... <laughs> You're gonna need too many crew skills to like make it work, you know? Yeah. So the crew layout is crap, only three crew members and Yeah. It's gonna be weird finding like some pretty good crew members like in your barracks. The good parts about this tank, well, you saw the camouflage is decent. The main thing I guess it has the reverse autoloader mechanic just like an IS-3A so the more you shoot the faster you will reload the problem with all this is even though you have I think you have good DPM on paper it's not even good on paper the problem with this is it has four seconds in between shots which completely kills the burst damage of this tank even though those four seconds in between shots it's kind of how much you actually need to aim after you shoot to be able to hit again. So, four seconds in between shots, and the fact that the ammo is kind of crap definitely kind of tend to kill the, the DPM and the burst of this tank, right? Add to that the fact that the gun is bad, it doesn't exactly work as a mobile medium does it like so far honestly it has a little bit of armor like 200 220 let's say overall in the upper plate lower plate and turret so i've been trying to play it against other heavies and stuff because against mediums you're not gonna be able to out gun anybody right so it's a weird tank and honestly it's still not very good it's it's just very Unreliable, definitely not a good money maker with the ammo it has and with the unreliable gun. So, yeah, I personally would pass on this tank. It's just, it's an annoying tank, it's gonna annoy you. So, I would pass. 